the reason I threw that one to you is I thought you might mention Peter Sagan. Wow, what can I say? I think he's, he's saved the sport in many ways. It feel I feel like just the charisma he brings to the sport. He's yeah. a character. He's a showman, and I'm sure he's inspired many, many riders for the future generation. Sean, you've you've been his DS at Tinkoff. How, how did you get on with, with well, Peter? Peter is is genuinely obviously a fantastic talent, but a super nice guy. And you know, obviously I left Tinkoff and the team folded. I had a really bad accent. The year after, I went back to Belgium, and this is an example of Peter, how, how nice it is. I was uh, over there to watch the Tour of Flanders, in, I was staying in um, Kreuzbergen, and his team came down the road on a training ride, and he suddenly saw me, and he just pulled over from the team, came over, gave me a hug. The team were obviously riding off into the distance. He was alone, uh, and, and had a quick chat. And then the kid came along and he signed the autograph and, and then he had to chase back on. I mean, Peter is a 100% genuine. World um, class. Yes. He, I mean, obviously, as a, a, an athlete as well, very exciting. He deals with a lot of pressure, as do all grand champions. Well, we've, we've talked about how it's not necessarily a, a traditional tour to this point, but the one thing you can almost always rely on is that he will be in the points jersey. And well, he's, yeah. he's, he's already in green. We fully expect him to keep that, yeah. don't we? He's part, he's part of the fabric of that race, isn't he? It's an institution that he takes green. A bit like when Kelly was doing it. You know, Zabel, it's almost become, you know, I can't see who's going to take it off him for the next five years, maybe. 